there is a great evil waiting for its chance to destroy all that we hold dear. The evil's ones lurk on our rooftops. They lurk on our fences. They lurk in the alleys and shadows. They even lurk within our very homes. For millennia, we have been forced to feed and care for these monstrosities. However, evil is never appeased for long. They deny complete control over our minds and souls. Knowledge is power. This is a fact being exploited by the greatest evil the world has ever seen. Not they have lurked amongst us since the earliest days of history. They infiltrated our writing. They infiltrated our stories. They infiltrated our songs. They have even infiltrated Broadway. Now, they have set their eyes upon the greatest repository of knowledge in the world. The Internet. They have already started to seep onto the web through their nefarious pictures and videos. The only thing stopping them from directly taking over the web is their lack of access. However, it is only a matter of time if we don't make a stand. Once they have invaded this last bastion of knowledge, no one will be safe. It is up to you to prevent this threat from destroying us all. The key is preventing access. Don't leave your passwords out in the open. We want to make them at least work for their evil deeds. Just looks at a post it note does not count as work. Don't use easy to guess passwords like you name, your mother's name, or you first grade teacher's name something like one. Two, three, four is definitely out. Don't use only one password. Letting the enemy have every part of your online presence in their nasty little claws means they can carry out their evil even faster. What is the worst that could happen, you ask? The end of the world is what could happen. With your passwords, your entire identity in the real and virtual world could be stolen. With the right passwords, they could steal your money, your reputation, or even your life. With the right passwords, they could get into your bank accounts and empty all of your life savings. With the right passwords, they could go around on the internet pretending to be you. With the right passwords, they could steal your very life by using the information at their disposal to upset your very identity. Several credit cards and passports later, another you is now walking around, doing whatever he or she wants to do, leaving the consequences on your head. While you are at it, make sure your computer is protected from outside invasions. Get an antivirus. Viruses can steal your information just as easily as a person snooping through your computer. Zap them with the antivirus. Get a good firewall. I am talking about the one you install on your computer to keep hackers out. Though while you are at it, you should get an actual wall of fire to the ward of the evil ones. We must. Robbie. I am doing something very important right now. Yes, I am making a public service announcement against those furry monster right this instant. They are a serious threat, Robbie. Stop laughing. I mean it. Those beeping cats are going to be the end of us all. No, it is not just me holding a grudge over the time Mr. Whiskers knocked me off the kitchen counter. Yes, I know I said dogs were the greatest evil in the world last week. That yellow rain really hurt. My eyes. They burned like nothing I had ever experienced before then. I said stop laughing. If you don't stop, I am coming over there and making you stop. Computer, shut down. Robbie, you are a complete beep beep.